Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. And uh, thanks for joining me in our series of award-winning movie recipes. Today's recipe is pizza. Can we guess the movie, Dan? Um, I don't know, my cousin Vinny? No, not my cousin Vinny. Goodfellas. No. Well, I don't know. You don't know. It's Mystic Pizza starring Julia Roberts, Annabelle. Let me go through this for you. Um, Julia Roberts, Annabelle Gish, Lily Taylor, and Matt Damon. And it's Julia Roberts' first movie. She was like a teenager at the time. And uh, it's Mystic Pizza. So we're going to make their, their um, signature pizza. Now, it starts with pizza dough. I bought frozen, a pound of frozen pizza dough. And I divvied it up into two um, pizzas. So you can have one big pizza or you can make two like this. And you're going to make it as thin or as thick as you'd like your pizza dough to be. Entirely up to you. You're going to preheat your oven to 500 degrees. It's a very hot oven, but pizza likes hot ovens. So it is starts with um, a ricotta cheese base. So it's not really a tomato base like normal pizzas. It's ricotta cheese. So in this bowl, I have one egg, which was slightly beaten. I have a cup of ricotta cheese. Um, ricotta cheese I like to use in a lot of pasta dishes. It's very delicious. This is what I bought for this one. Saputo um, ricotta. We're going to have a cup of Parmesan tree cheese. Freshly grated is always best. I'm going to eyeball what a cup is. Sort of like that. And we're going to mix this together. We're going to put some salt and pepper in this. And uh, yeah, this, this movie I saw like <laughs> ages and ages ago. And uh, it's really a fun movie. It's a coming of age movie. It's about uh, three women, three young women who work sling pizza in a pizza parlor in Connecticut. And uh, they talk about their hopes and dreams. And, you know, it's a coming of age movie. It's really cute. Okay, salt, a little bit of salt because the parm has a lot of salt and some pepper. All right, give this a mix and we're ready to go. All right, first pizza here. Now what I've done here is I rolled this out and I pulled it, but I also put some uh, cornmeal on the bottom to help it from sticking, from not sticking. Help it from not sticking. Keep it from sticking. That's what it is, keep it from sticking. All right, so I'm gonna juice a little bit of EVOO on it. Just a bit. Uh, put that around like that. And we're going to put in half of this mixture right on top. Spread it out to about an inch from the edges. Like this. So yes, so Julia Roberts was young in this movie. And, uh, and Matt Damon too. I mean, really young. I don't know if it was Matt's first movie, but it certainly was Julia's. I well, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Okay, there's the first one. Now, this is the classic Mystic Pizza recipe. You can do whatever you want with it. You can add some stuff to it. You can add onions if you want. Uh, you can add um, pepperoni even, I guess. You know, but this is the classic. And this is in the movie and underneath I have a, um, a link to a scene where a restaurant critic comes to this little diner, this little pizza joint in Connecticut and uh, reviews the pizza that he gets and uh, loved it loved it so uh yeah check out that pizza or that uh, link that i have below all right so this looks good all right so this is going to go in the oven let me just but first i do have something else to do whoops make it a mess oh gosh okay there we go all right so i'm just going to put this here mm -mm. you're going to take two pints of cherry tomatoes Washed, of course. You're going to add, oh, sorry, two tablespoons of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, very unusual pizza, but lovely. And we're going to mix that up. Give it a toss like this. And this is going on to 
a baking dish. Let me just get a piece of parchment for here. Of course, I don't have a parchment paper that's open, so I will open one <laughs> with my teeth. Okay, piece of, par uh, piece of parchment, parchment parchment. That goes in there. Come so. What did you call it? Uh, Peach of parchment. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of parchment. Okay, so you're going to add, put these on here like this, and this is going to go in the oven as well. Now, let me tell you, 500 degree oven. Your racks are going to be uh, about this far away from each other, two levels, not too high, not too low, in the middle of the oven. You're going to put your pizza dough in there, and you're going to put your tomatoes in there as well on the other rack. You are going to cook them at 500 degrees for about 15 minutes until the tomatoes crack open. You're going to take out the tomatoes and you're going to continue to cook the pizza dough till it's nice and golden. So that's where we're going to come back. I'm going to leave you now and we're going to come back. We have some other things to do with it that I'll talk about later. Uh, but that's your first step. So 500 degree oven, the pizzas go in, the tomatoes go in. The tomatoes come out when they burst open, about 15 minutes. These continue for another 10 or so. Watch it, make sure they're not too, too uh, golden brown. And then we'll come back. All does right. It, does it matter where the tomatoes go? Upper rack, lower rack? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No, either one. All right, so I'll see you in about 30 minutes. You'll see me in about two seconds. See you later. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Here's our pizza. Look how wonderful it looks. And it was in there for 15 minutes along with the tomatoes and then another four or five minutes. You have to watch it. Turned out beautiful. Okay, so in this bowl, I have the cherry tomatoes that burst open full of flavor. And I also put in um, an heirloom tomato, a nice big heirloom tomato. And this is what an heirloom tomato looks like. It does come in different shapes and, and sizes and different colors. And an heirloom tomato is, Dan, give it away. Well, it's a naturally pollinated tomato. It's not intentionally cross-pollinated as our hybrid tomatoes. Okay. If you want more information, yeah, you can look, look it up. It up. Look it up in the internet, but these are lovely. They're sweet and uh, the flesh is beautiful. So that's an heirloom tomato. So this is, so I cut up the heirloom tomato into half moons and I added it to the warm um, cherry tomatoes. All right, so I'm going to take a pizza. Oh, and I wanted to mention something else about the parm cheese. You know, I grated my parm cheese until it went right down to the rind. You want to keep this rhyme rind and what i do is i uh freeze it and i use it in sauces and it's lovely because it just gives a really nice flavor and i use it in stews and and uh, spaghetti sauces or whatever so keep that just throw it in your freezer and then you can have a really nice addition to your sauces all right next i'm going to take my pizza which is hot and look how well wonderful it comes off with no grease because of the um cornmeal cornmeal fantastic okay to this I'm going to add the tomato mixture right on top. Look at this. Mamma mia. Just slop it on there. Wonderful. Okay. This is a pizza like you've never had before. Okay. To that, I'm now going to add, let me just push this over here so it covers well. I'm going to add some oregano, some fresh oregano. Now, um, I buy the oregano as often as I need it. And how you can get the leaves off of this really quickly is that you go against the grain, so to speak. So you take your, your stock and you, and there's just the leaves and you're left with the sprig of, um, of, of, of uh, the tough, the tough stem. Uh, stem. Yeah, the tough stem. So simple as can be. It's a little trick I learned on the internet. All right, so I'm going to chop up the oregano without chopping up my fingers. There you have it. We're going to sprinkle some oregano on top of that. Look at this, Dan. I mean, is this a work of art or what? And there you have it. Mystic Pizza. Well, let me tell you something about Mystic Pizza. It actually is a real pizza joint in Connecticut, in Mystic, Connecticut. It still is in existence. 
Um, it started in 1973. It opened up in 1973. And because of the popularity of the movie in 1988, it became world famous. And it's still there. So if you're ever in, around that area of Mystic, uh, Connecticut, go to Mystic Pizza. Um, and I want to tell you that it was directed by David Petrie, in case I didn't say that before. All right. Let's put the parm on. The parm is in the sauce. All right. The parm is in the okay. sauce. Yeah. All right. So let's give this, uh, I'm going to use my pizza cutter. Let's give this a taste. Oh, so good. I'm going to, I'm going to um, do the other one afterwards. So I was going to do it with a knife and fork, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just pick it up like this. Crust is beautiful. Look at this. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Really good. Excellent pizza. Please try this pizza. Watch the movie. Join us again for more award-winning movie recipes in weeks to come. Some real fun ones. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost anything. It really helps us out a lot. Comment below if you like to. If you have any ideas of movie recipes, because I'm frankly, I'm running out of ideas. So put it below and I'd really like to hear about that. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Uh, the last thing is forget the mess. Enjoy your mystic pizza. See you next time, guys.